Hey Capricorn. So how was 2018? <laughs> sorry, I feel like it's a funny question to ask here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't put on silence. There, that's better. Now I can still see messages, but you won't know. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, it's an hour and something long reading. Yeah, no? Okay. Hi, I love you. How are you? Welcome 2019. We all need it, right? We all need it. Well, here we are. And we got this, Capricorn. Let's just start. Let's just get into business. You like to get into business. You don't want me rambling. You, you probably don't really appreciate the fact that I forgot to let the candles. I don't appreciate that, honestly. You deserve better, Capricorn, right? You deserve better. I'm going to find my lighter and probably start this video anew because... Oh, there it is. Okay, for the sake of the authenticity, I'm not going to start this video again. Even though this is going to go also on YouTube and be like the preview for this reading. And might make people be like, I don't want to see her reading. She's flaky and I'm a Capricorn. She forgot to light the candles before she started shooting. She couldn't find a lighter. What? Hey, it's okay. It's a mutual judgment. I don't appreciate it as well. But for the sake of authenticity, here I am, Capricorn. Sometimes forgetful, sometimes flaky. You know, I'm a Taurus. It's hard for me to be that. As I assume it is hard for you to be that sometimes, but maybe you need a reminder that you're human. Capricorn, maybe this is what it's about. And that you bleed on the inside. And that sometimes it's hard for you. And that it's okay. It doesn't mean that you're any less of anything. You're very hard on yourself, Capricorn, as usual. So you forgot to do this thing. So you lost that thing. Who does it occasionally? Here, I just gave you confirmation. If you love me and you forgive me for forgetting to light the candle and for not finding the lighter, can you please forgive yourself? Without further ado, let's get to it. 13 runes, uh, sorry, yes, 13 runes, one for each month and a uh, signifier, but also uh, 13 main tarot decks and two clarifiers for each month. And we will finish up with oracles, uh, one from the Akashic Record and one from the I Ching, all pre-shuffled and ready to party. Let's get to it. Yes, Lagas. The main rune for 2019. Good. Power. Inner power. Inner guidance. It is not cognitive. It is intuitive. It is majestic. It is your spirit whispering in your ear, telling you where to turn. Not your dogma, not your practicality, not your job, not your boss, not your husband, your wife, your mother, your father. Inside of you, your gut. This is the one who rules this year. Also very strong feminine power. So you're either connecting into your um, feminine powers, which are very powerful and magical and intuitive and healing. So don't be like, hey, but I'm a man. Yeah, but we, we all have yin and yang, huh? And if you're a lady, this is the Wonder Woman. I'm really happy that this is what rules your great relationship with females, um, a sense of empowerment, being on your path. This is the ocean, knowing thyself and operating from there. I like to start the lovers. Dun, dun, dun. Some of you, it's the obvious you have to choose a woman. You're making a choice. If you're a female, you're making a strong choice for yourself or your path. You're honoring yourself and your um, independence and your strength. And that is very appealing to the other sex. And if you're a man, you are choosing the empowered, 
independent, beautiful, um, liberated woman, which I'm very proud of you for doing so. Either way, good. Wow, Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Celtic Tarot, modern day versus Celtic day. It's a really beautiful deck. And this is the after tarot. So, wow, the lovers with Lagas, with the Emperor, and the um, Ten of Cups. So, strong masculinity, strong femininity. Two lovers approaching and touching each other, and the Ten of Cups. The choice is clear. Who you are with is clear, and you're making it work. So 2019 is strong bond, camaraderie between you and a significant other. Um, I feel like it's something that you've earned after a really long time. This sense of belonging, this sense of this is my road. Some of you are together um, facing making some sort of choice. This could be where do we want to live? What do we want to do? But you're doing this together. Some of you are contemplating if you want to move across the ocean to live somewhere else. It could be a different city, it could be a different uh, state, it could be a different continent, it could be a different anything. The gas is also the ocean. And this can, this can also be a choice. But I, f I feel like it's, it's together, it's unified. But let's see what the what the next 12 months have in store. This is a beautiful start. I'm very, very happy to see this Capricorn. It's not a start. It actually rules 2019. It's around behind every month. I see you guys making strong choices of love. And or that the choices that you make in your mundane life come from a place of your love, you know, of loyalty, of unity, of a, a strong sense of belonging to a, a certain community or wanting to establish a new community elsewhere. But let's see. Great. So the lovers, Ten of Cups, the Emperor, with Lagas. Gorgeous. Are we ready for January? <laughs> 